Hi everyone, I'm Nancy. Welcome to my home, welcome to my channel, and welcome to my weekly vlog, Coffee, Tea, Wine, and Life. And this morning, it's a nice rainy day. Well, it's technically it's rain, but it doesn't look like rain. It's like you can't hear it falling, and the ground is wet, and when you go outside, you get wet, like a mist is in the air. That's the kind of rain we're having today, but I suppose every bit helps. But it is muggy, so I think we're only in the mid-70s, but... It has to be about 100% humidity, so I have the air conditioner on. Yeah, trying to get some of that moisture out, trying to dry it up. But in the meantime, I'm going to show you my new coffee. So, yeah, I'm having blueberry cinnamon latte from my Smart Sips Coffee. I love that coffee. And I got a brand new coffee cup this week from Sabrina and Mike and the Jelly Beans. So it's best day ever, and that is something... Whenever Aiden, um, you do something with him, whether it's you just go to the grocery store or you he, he watches a movie he likes, it's like this is the best day ever. So we just we just love that saying. He's just so appreciative of everything. You know, it's he's never grumpy or sad or mad about something. If he wants something and Tori gets her way, he just that's best day ever. So it's just a really great way to look at life. So anyway, this has their rescue puppy angel she's such a cutie pie i can't wait to meet her and there's sabrina and the jelly beans aiden and tori and that was uh from just this past memorial day when they went to the uh, Bourne national cemetery down at cape cod in massachusetts and they they go there every year to visit my my dad's grave so just a really nice tradition that she does for us so cheers and thank you so much sabrina and the jelly beans and mike for my coffee cup i love it she also sent me some tea some uh, vanilla black bean chai tea and some other kind of vanilla chai tea yeah so anyway but i've got my smart sips coffee in here for now mm. it is so good i love this and it's i used to think it was just going to be a flavored coffee that i would want to wind down at the end of the day or middle of the day but yeah i love it in the morning too just really really good Oh, so not, as you can see, my boxes have built up behind me again. You know, I did my boxy charm last night, my boxy lux. I was so confused. There is one item in there, so when I get around to posting that, I hope you guys help me because I don't know if I'm supposed to eat it or wear it. It's got a calorie intake of 20 calories, which means you eat it, it's organic, it's, I don't know. So you're going to have to wait for that, and uh, yeah. And then help me because hashtag Nancy has no idea. But um, I had some add-ons from my boxy charm. Uh, one was an add-on, like a pop-up sale, and the other one was Memorial Day. They had a really good sale. And I meant to do them after I did my boxy lux, but I forgot all about it. So I will do them in a separate video whenever, right? And I got my new glossy box in, so I'm excited about that because the other one was so late, I just expected them all to just kind of be late, kind of like in a row, like the domino effect, but that one came in. So I love seeing what kind of products I get in there. And I, I love it too because it's it's smaller products. So it's something that I don't have to wait for five years for me to finish something. Like I'm still working on an eye cream that I got probably in my first Ipsy bag last fall and this it's still going strong so it's I, I got yahooies in the neighborhood that are doing fireworks again so even though my windows are closed and the air conditioner is on they got some loud boomers so i am sure mr griffin is going nuts and little leo next door is he's probably going half out of his mind he's like he's 20 years old leo he, he shouldn't have to be subjected to these fireworks that's freak him out but that's another story but, um, yeah, so boxy, box lux, uh, yeah, so I will try to get those ones in later and then the glossy box, but yeah, so sometimes you, you get the full size and you want to use them up before you open something else and let, um, the air get to it, but it takes so long that the other smaller stuff that you think you would go through in a month, you haven't even been able to open it. So that's one of the reasons I like it. Plus there's items in like the glossy box and things that I don't normally see in just um, the boxes that come from the U.S. So it's just, it's just a really nice surprise and cost wise it's, yeah, it's, it's like nothing. So I enjoy getting that. I meant to, I was going to go to bed early last night. So I went to bed about one o'clock and um, 
I was just going to read. I was going to read for a couple of hours, but I accidentally put Dark Shadows on. It's one of my guilty pleasures. So I watched the old uh, Dark Shadows till about 7 this morning, and I did very little reading in between them. But I'm reading, I wanted to do my horror stories, but I got this one. The, well, the thrill is not horror. The Too Good to Be True from my book at the Month Club. And so, as you see, I'm moving along. I'm about halfway in it. And uh, it's, it's held my interest. It's uh, just, it's a perspective of like three different people. So you've got what's happening in real life or real time. Um, my hair is in my face driving me crazy. Uh, so it, and it's got uh, like letters from a man um, and his wife, letters to their psychiatrist, uh, kind of like a, their journal, something that they don't ever mean for anyone to see, just getting their thoughts and their opinions out. So the lady's like going back to her teen years and what led up to how she is today. And then the guy is the present day and what he's doing. And then the uh, the other lady is, is real time and just uh, how she's in this love story and her life is so great. And you get the feeling in a few days, it's not gonna be so great. But anyway, it's holding my interest. So I am loving this. I just wish I had more time to dedicate to it. But also behind me, and I knew I had it, but I put it, I was working from home and when it came in, I put it in the office. I was so excited and I said, oh yeah, I'm going to open this tonight and maybe I'll just do it in here when I finish working. I, I didn't. And then it got buried in paperwork. I got um, um, from Sensi the warmer of the month and it could have been from last November or December that sold out really really quick but they had so much interest in it that they took some pre-orders and uh, yeah so they came in a couple of weeks ago so I'm really excited to open that one yeah it looks really really pretty I haven't taken it out of the box yet but it was really pretty yeah because I, I don't get warmers all the time because I have so much but every now and then one just comes out from Scentsy and it's like I need to have it. I need to have it. I need it now. And the fact that I had to wait six, seven months for this, it was like, that was hard. That was hard for me. But anyway, I think, um, yeah, so I got boxes coming up. I took, um, um, I did some videos last weekend that I didn't get around to uh, editing and posting. So one is going to be uh, another Ellie add-on, Miss Ellie add-on. I got the Sensi Whip box, which I'm really surprised. I'm sorry I didn't get that one uploaded yet. So I've got that one to upload yet. And I've got uh, the Miss Ellie, the outfit of the month. Um, it shipped last week, but it's still, it's still like when you click on the tracking, it just says, we're processing your order. So yeah, but if it's late, it's like, it doesn't really make a difference because I'm behind. And um, then from Miss Ellie, they sent me another coupon, like 25, well, not really a coupon, I'm just in back in the uh, 70s world. But um, yeah, so they sent an email to, for a code to get 25% off another outfit. You know, I couldn't pass it up. I came this close again to getting shorts, but yeah, I just couldn't do it. I, I might do it sometime. I'm hoping that maybe when the July outfits of the month come, that maybe the snow pant ones, the long leggings that I like, and I'm kind of forced to choose one with shorts. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. I'm really not too sure about that. But anyway, and of course, you know, it's Saturday and I'm wearing Miss Ellie because I'm, I'm going to try to do uh, yoga for seniors today. Yeah. I actually tried to get into a class that's in the center of St. Michael, but um, the person on the phone, she was really rude. And when I was asking her about, um, you know, they said, see, they do have yoga and Pilates. I, I don't know. They have all kinds of classes there. And um, so anyway, um, so I just called to see what they had um, for after hours because I can't get there. I'm not a morning person. I'm not going to get there wicked early in the morning. And I was just asking what she had for like a senior classes, like some stretching or yoga or things like that. And she's like, well, you know, you have to be in shape. If you want to exercise, you have to be in shape. And I says, well, you know, that's not really true. People exercise to get in shape. And well, we don't take those kind of people. You have to be in shape to come into our studio. And I'm like, okay. All righty. Well, nice talking to you. I hope you have perfect, perfectly perfect, perfect looking people there that don't need your help because otherwise I, I will never go there because I'm never going to be perfect. 
I just, I just couldn't believe that, that why would an instructor say they only take perfect people that know what they're doing and you, you have to be in good shape to exercise? I don't know. So, you know, and I know some people would probably say, can I, can I talk to your manager? But, you know, if that's how their instructors are, then they're not going to be much help to me because, you know, I, I need help. Not only when it comes to skincare, but doing yoga and getting the poses right and exercising and even doing weights to know that my arms are at the right level. So you're kind of looking forward to having that instructor or, or trainer to kind of guide you without making you feel like you're an imbecile that has no right being in the class. So, so I ordered a DVD for yogas instead. No, yoga, a yoga, a DVD geared towards seniors. That's about yoga basics because I think I just want to start with just some flexibility and just kind of getting used to it before I try to maybe delve into something a little bit more. I just want some basic flexibility and just some toning, things like that. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, I think I'm talking more than I wanted to, but so anyway, those are my goals for the week. Get through a few more unboxings. Yeah. I uh, get some more work done on YouTube. Stay away from dark shadows. That's kind of like my guilty pleasure, I guess. Uh, yeah, seven hours of whatever of dark shadows. And a little bit more reading when I go to bed. No dark shadows. But anyway, I am going to enjoy my coffee while it's still warm. And uh, yeah, so I hope everybody goes out and has the best day ever. So thanks again for joining me. And we will chat again, if not during the week, then on Friday night. Have a great week, everyone. Love you guys. Bye-bye. Hi everyone, happy 4th of July weekend. So it is Friday night and yes, a start of a long holiday weekend for most people anyway. And oh my gosh, it was a fast week. It's, we got a lot done this week and I still left work. I think the uh, latest I worked this week was till like maybe 9.30, so not too bad. Today they let us go home early, so I think about 2 o'clock they said everybody could go home. We had a barbecue and not too many people were in today. Most people had a vacation day, but they had a barbecue for us. So we had brats and different kind of cheeseburgers and bacon and jalapeno and raw onions and smothered onions. And when guys go shopping, we had like 10 different kinds of potato chips and Fritos, Cheetos, 10, 10 different bags. I'm not kidding. We had three different kinds of potato salad. We had macaroni salad. We had coleslaw. We had brownies. We had whatever. Soda machine was open. Help yourself to whatever soda you wanted. There's also beer in that cooler. And the liquor cabinet was open if anyone wanted to make a cocktail. So, yeah. So, yeah, we we did that. I They let us go home. And I said, you know, even though I've got Mr. Griffin coming over tonight, I, I like working in peace and quiet. So I stayed for three extra hours. So I left at five. And so I could come home and grab Mr. Griffin. So we've been kind of hanging around. We were out on the deck for a while. I got a little campfire going already. And yeah, then the fireworks started. So yeah, now he's like a barking maniac. He's not afraid of the fireworks, but you can tell he's not happy about them. And he is just trying to chase them. We had to come off the deck. I thought for sure he was going to jump over the deck. So he's tied up in the backyard for a few minutes. So I could kind of come on and get this done. We were going to try to do a look, couple of videos with him here in the room with me. But yeah, that's not going to work tonight with fireworks. But so I got all my bogs and bogs. That's a new word I just made up. It's a combination of bags and boxes in case you didn't get that. So I've got my Stitch Fix that came in today. So I'm excited to try that on. I've got some maxi dresses in there. I forgot what else. I've got an Ipsy add-on. I still have those two BoxyCharm uh, add-ons that I didn't do. I've got two uh, outfits from Miss Ellie to try on. Can you believe I haven't opened them up yet? And I've got two dresses here. This one is from Kato, which I never even heard of that store, but it's nice t-shirt material, like a tie-dye, nice and stretchy, a little bit of ruching on the side. So I was watching Wanda and Rebecca over at Southern Bells, and they had mentioned a store, one of their local stores, Kato. So I went online, and uh, yeah, because I don't have any around me, but I ordered this dress just to kind of check it out, see what it's like. Prices were really good. The other one was the dress that I got in from after watching Teresa Renee 360, and she had done a Venus haul. So I got this beautiful maxi dress. 
you can't see it, but there's some embellishments on it because, you know, Nancy likes her bling. So, yeah, I got excited to try that on. And then I know they got a sale. I've been getting emails ever since I ordered, but I wanted to have it come in and just kind of check the quality and the size to see what else I wanted. So I may order some more clothes this weekend. I, I don't know yet. But I am relaxing with a cup of coffee. I have got um, Key Lime Latte from my Smart Sips. So good. I got it in a new coffee cup. Someone's going to have a sip and put it down. It is so, so good. Oh my gosh, this is just so nice to relax with. Mm. So anyway, I got this off Amazon. And I do, some, they have so many different, I mean, you can buy everything at Amazon, right? But they have so many different coffee cups. And I just I like this cute little classic coffee house design here. And um, it comes with this really nice... Uh, cover so you can lock it to kind of keep the heat in and the steam in it's got the rubber gasket around it to keep it nice and tight and then this too so it's a really well-made little coffee lid and then I like it because it comes in these little boxes that match the cup so if you were going to gift it to someone they get this matching cup uh, box for the cup so it's a nice little keepsake and yeah so it's just really nice maybe put some um stones in there or something or the cosmetic stones and things like that maybe put some brushes in there or some pens in there just makes a really nice little decoration but anyway i can hear mr ba mr griffin out there barking so i'm going to go keep him company and um anyway just want to wish everyone a great happy safe holiday weekend yeah go out and enjoy we're going to be in the high 90s all weekend no rain but it is what it is so take care everybody and we will chat again because I got some unboxings or unboggings to do. Take care, everybody. See you. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.